So here we are, man, uh, in the book of Hebrews. I got to apologize to you for the for the large gap. Uh, I believe it's two-day uh, gap here, man. Didn't do anything on Monday. Didn't do anything on Tuesday. Uh, here we are on Wednesday. Uh, getting into it, man. Just been a really busy week, man. Just absolutely crazy. Uh, in fact, last night, man, I didn't get into the house. Um, by the time I hit the bed, man, it was well after midnight. Uh, just, just out all day long. Uh, working, but um, that that's no excuse, man. It's kind of funny when you think about it. The last video I did was do not neglect the faith. Uh, and then it's like, I went bye-bye for two days. Like, where, where is he? Is he neglecting? Uh, hey, check it out, man. Hebrews chapter three, it says this. It says, therefore, holy brothers, you who share in a heavenly calling, consider Jesus, the apostle and high priest of our confession, who was faithful to him, who appointed him, just as Moses also with, was faithful in all of God's house. For Jesus has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses. Watch this. As much more as the builder of a house has more honor than the house itself. And when I read this, man, it really struck me hard because I think about it. Uh, if you go to a um, j j just a, a beautiful structure, man, just a really nice house, and, and, and you're looking at it and you're seeing carvings and you're seeing different type of moldings and you're seeing the way that the brick has been laid and the designs and everything on it, uh, and, and perhaps there's special windows and stuff, and, and, and you're looking at the house and you're just thinking, man, this thing is so, so, so beautiful. And perhaps you're in the market to buy a house yourself and you want to know who is the builder of this house because I want a house just like this one. Um, I want the guy who did this. So now, whereas the house is magnificent, the house is wonderful, the house is worthy of praise, the question is, who is the man behind this house? Who was the designer? Who was the architect? Who was the builder of this house? Because that's who I want to go talk to. This house is beautiful, but the house in and of itself, it can't do anything for me. If I want this, I've got to go to the builder. So here we are, man. We have Moses, the picture of salvation through the law. And he's, he's instructing us on how to walk, on how to be, on how to behave, on how to live, and how to think, and how to act. And all of this stuff is beautiful, man. But the Word of God is saying this. Don't look to Moses for your salvation. And don't look to the law for your salvation. Because that's simply the house. And it is beautiful. Do not covet is a beautiful thing. Do not murder. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, even though it's beautiful, what is more precious than the house, which is the law, that's the builder of the house. So when we look to Moses, man, when we look to the Old Testament law, we don't look to that for salvation. We look to the man named Jesus because it says that he's greater and a worthy of more honor than Moses as much as the builder of the house is worth more honor than the house that it, the house itself. So the, just this part right, man, part right here in Hebrews chapter three, it is a great place to go. Uh, if you know somebody who's who's dealing with Old Testament law, somebody who's saying, man, um, we have to do these things to receive uh, eternal life. You know, if we don't uh, keep the Sabbath, if we don't eat kosher food, if we don't do these, we won't inherit eternal life. Look at him and say this, man, Hebrews chapter three, it says, yeah, Moses, man, he he's worthy of some honor here. But guess what, man, Jesus, He's, he's worthy of even more honor than Moses. Look what it says in verse 4. It says, For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. Now, Moses was faithful in all God's house as a servant to testify to these things that were, that, that were to be spoken later. Watch this, verse 6. But Christ is faithful over God's house as a son, and we are his house. Watch this. I circled if we are his house, if indeed we hold fast to our confession and our boasting and our hope. Check it out, man. The law is a beautiful thing. But more beautiful than the law is the creator of it. That is Christ Jesus. Remember now in the beginning of Hebrews, it says that Jesus is the exact imprint of the nature of God. You want to know what God would do? Look to what Jesus did. You mimic the life of Jesus. You mimic the nature of God. Therefore, when you stand before God, you don't have to give an account if you stand before him under the blood of Christ Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Why? Because you've patterned your life after Christ Jesus. And now when you stand before the Father, what does he see? He sees his son and not you. And when he sees his son, what does he see? He sees his nature shining right back at him, man. Hebrews is a beautiful book. Forgive me for the delay. Forgive me for the break. I'm sorry. I've been busy, but there's no excuse. We got to be in the Word together every single day. Uh, I love you. Uh, man, Christ bless you. Have a wonderful day.